Hello, one and all present here. This is Amit Kumar Singh. In this class, guys, we will discuss the thinking for numericals for the subject called financial management. So, guys, if you see the last previous year question paper on financial management, you will always find a numerical on thinking fund. This numerical comes for five marks. Like you can see for this year 2016, it came in 2016. Again, I can see the same numerical was there in 2018. So probably you can understand this is one of the numerical which comes like more or less every year in Bangalore City question paper. So when we see this numerical, how to solve this kind of numerical, like uh, there would be too many informations are given, like they are talking about debentures. They're given you the coupon rate for the debenture. They're given the face value of the debenture. And this debenture is redeemable in five years. They're given the time period for the debenture. So suppose there's a company is there. They have issued uh, a debt instrument. Probably the debt instrument is a long-term debt instrument, uh, which have the maturity of five years, where the coupon rate is 6%. So probably six percentage of two lakh rupees, not two lakh, twenty lakh rupees. They will give as a coupon to the investor every year. Okay, so the coupon what they're paying to the investor every year that won't be the part of hedging. So here the company is trying to hedge their risk over the exposure on the debt instrument. So please don't get confused with the six percent coupon rate. What they have to pay as every year on year basis to the investor. So what is what is they are looking to hedge? They're looking to hedge this, this 20 lakh rupees. Okay, they are, they are thinking how they can get this 20 lakh rupees after five years. They took money from the investor. Maybe they use that money for their working capital or maybe for some investment management. They have used that money. Now the objective is to get this 20 lakh rupees. Are you getting me? So the sinking fund or the future value of annuity here is your 20 lakh rupees. So when you're solving the question, so here the future value of annuity so this is called future value of NUT or which is equal to your sinking fund. Okay, this is equal to 20 lakh rupees. So the company is worried to how they will get this 20 lakh rupees after five years. Okay, so the time period, what they have mentioned for this numerical, that they have given a time period of five years. So they want 20 lakh rupees after five years. That is the objective. Okay, so don't get confused with the coupon rate or YTM of the debenture and all that is not what you need to look. You are not solving a problem on debt instrument or the valuation of the debt instrument. This problem is nowhere connected with the investment management. Investment management as a subject will study in third semester. Okay, probably if you have taken finance as a specialization. So this problem is more or less concentrated on the concept of future value of NUT. What is NUT? NUT means that whenever you pay or when you receive a same amount of money after every regular interval of time till certain time period, then it is called as NUT. Okay. So the formula for the future value of NUT. So we use future value of NUT whenever we are expecting that we are paying money. So whenever we pay money after every regular interval of time, we, we are wondering to know how much that will become probably after some years. Suppose my plan is to buy a house in Bangalore. Okay, so I want to buy a house in Bangalore, maybe six years down the line. So how much money should I save per month, which I'll invest in a mutual fund, which gives me 15% per annum so that I get my desired house. Okay, so if the house price, what I'm expecting, that current prices of two BHK house in Bangalore is around 80 lakh rupees per annum. Okay, so probably five years down the line, it will increase at the compounded rate because inflation is around 7%. So it will grow at 7% per annum. So whatever is the price, what I'm seeing right now, maybe 80 lakh. So 80 lakh into one plus inflation rate to the power, whatever years. Okay, that would be the targeted sum, what I should look for. Okay, that would be my future value of NUT or the sinking fund. So here future value of NUT formula is NUT divide by rate of interest and UT means the money, what you'll save or you'll invest because saving, if you're saving and keeping idle, that does not yield any return. So you should always look for return. So how will you get a return? You will get a return if you will invest the money. So that is your annuity. R is your rate of interest. T is a time period to expiration. So what the company is interested to know, forget about my dream. 
let's focus on the numerical. So the company is expecting to get 20 lakh rupees. Okay, well, how much they should save year on year basis is annuity. Uh, can be half yearly, it can be annually, it can be monthly. So if we take monthly, half yearly and all, then it become calculative, a uh, little bit complex. So there's simple numerical where the rate of interest as per this numerical, you can see the rate of interest is 10% wherever they are planning to do investment. So the rate of interest is 10%. So this is one plus 10% to the power five minus one. Okay. So you can solve this. This is 20 lakh. This is 20 lakh is equal to this 10%. I can write as 0.1. Now one plus 10% means I hope you know that that is 0.1 to the power 5 minus 1. So this is 20 lakh. So this is 20 lakh. This into 0.1 is equal to A. This is 1.1 to the power 5 minus 1. What is 1.1 to the power 5? You can use calculator for that. Okay, so this is 1.61051 minus 1. If I'm not wrong, you can check calculator. What is 1.1 to the power 5? Instead of calculator, I'm using Excel. You can use calculator for the calculation. So, one point one to the power five. That is one point six one zero five one. So if you do minus one, it will become point six one zero five one. This is two lakh is equal to a into point six one zero five one. So the value of annuity, how much they should uh, invest uh, in the fund. Okay, so that would be around two lakh. This is two lakh divided by 0.61051. So if you do this calculation, so your 20 lakh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 20 lakh means 2 million into 0 0.1 because that was a rate of interest. Okay. This divided by 1.6051 minus 1. So around this should be the amount of money which you should put every year. So this is around 3,27,594. So how much you should invest every year? Probably uh, if the company is thinking how much they should invest every year, that should be around 3,27,594 or you can say 595. So this much money, if they'll, if this much money let me just confirm this value. So this should be 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 divided by this minus 1. Correct. So uh, the comp how much the company should save or they should plan for investment every year so that they can get 20 lakh rupees after 5 years. That should be around 3,27,595. So if they'll invest this much money, if they'll invest you can see this. I can write this calculation further. I can write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if they will invest, if they'll invest this much money, so your annuity, if they'll invest, how much the money, how much is the annuity? The annuity is this much. So if they'll invest this much money, If they'll invest this much money, uh, they will get their required dream. The dream of getting 20 lakh rupees after five years. The rate of interest is 10%. Rate of interest is 10%. Okay. And the so every year they should invest 3 lakh 25, 3 lakh 27,595 around this much money. Okay. So so the money what they they would have invested at the end of first year, this money, what they would have invested at the end of first year, okay, that will grow for how many years? 
that it will grow for so it will grow for four years right it will grow for how many years it will grow for four years correct right it will grow for four years so so like this you can find for each each sum of money what they'll invest how much they will grow to form so the first three lakh twenty seven thousand rupees what I'll invest the first three lakh twenty seven thousand rupees what I'll invest okay how much it will become after five year so because it will grow at ten percent compounding it will become four lakh seventy nine thousand six thirty one like this second one will become four lakh thirty six thousand third one will become three lakh ninety six thousand fourth one will become three lakh sixty thousand and the fifth one will remain the same only and the sum total of this if you'll do the sum total of if you'll do you'll get the 20 lakh this is what the dream was there i hope you got this right so this is not what is relevant for you what is relevant for you is this calculation clear everyone so every year this this question comes so once it came 20 lakh if it came 40 lakh also you don't have to get panic with the question paper this is 20 lakh. Imagine if I see 40 lakh rate of interest is 12%. Again, the time period is five year only. So you don't have to worry on this. So this was, this is which year? 2018. Which one I did before? I think 2016 I did. So I did 2016 paper. Now, uh, if you get 2018 paper, in 2018 paper, they have given 40 lakh, 12% five year. Okay, so you don't have to worry if I ask you about 40 lakh, if, you, if your objective is to get 40 lakh, 40 lakh means 4 million. So if your objective is to get 4 lakh, 40 lakh rupees, rate of interest is 12%. Okay, so 1, 1 plus 12% would be 1.12 to the power 5 minus 1. Okay, so you can solve this 40 lakh into 0.12 divide by 1.12 to the power 5 minus 1 that is the value what that, that is the value they should invest every year 40 lakh into 0.12 so 40 lakh 1 2 3 4 5 6 40 lakh into 0.12 okay that that will come around uh I think 4 lakh 80,000. 4 lakh 80,000. 4 lakh 80,000. This is 1.12 to the power 5 minus 1. 1.12 to the power 5. Okay, this minus 1. This will come around 0.7623. Point seven six two three. So how much they should invest every year? So that will be around four lakh eighty thousand divided by point seven six two three. That will come around six lakh twenty nine thousand six thirty eight. Six lakh twenty nine thousand uh, six thirty eight point nine. So this would this should be the amount of investment they should do every year. Okay, probably to get 40 lakh rupees after five years if the money is compounding at 12% per annum. So guys, in this class, I have done two, uh, two numericals, both based on the concept of sinking fund. One numerical came in 2016, another numerical came in 2018. So I hope you understood the objective of this class. So with this intention, I like to wind up the class. Thank you, everyone. I'll see you all in next class. Take care. God bless you. Bye, everyone.